We did. I think it's the same one that Byron was looking at earlier. Well, not the same individual, but the same species, a batelier eagle or a short-tailed eagle. And he is looking quite happy out in the sun. And I think he's quite funny because if you see that what he's doing, he is just pretty much warming up the back of his wings and his neck. That's why he's in such a funny position because the east is towards where his um, back is facing to. And then obviously the, the sun ray is going to come a bit stronger if he faces that way. So I'm sure he's just warming his back, you know, like us humans do around a fire, <laughs> warming up the neck. And go around and then maybe if he gets a bit too hot on the back, then he's going to start facing the sun again. He comes and goes. Also birds at the bottom of their tails or towards where the where their tail feathers are connected to the body, there's a gland there called the preening gland. And it produces a certain oil or a type of oil that helps the uh, the birds in general maintain their feather condition. So sometimes if it's been very cold, they also they'll stand facing or with their backs facing the sun so that this oil can start almost like warming up and loosening up a little. So I'm sure maybe it's got some of the old oil that's, you know, it, it needs to warm up and start becoming a, a bit more liquid. Maybe it's, it's almost formed into into a harder substance. And he could just perhaps also be cold. So it's serving a double function, trying to maintain his feather condition just by taking it easy and allowing everything to to start warming up so he can then start grooming himself and, you know, just, just becoming a bit more hot in such a hot day. <laughs> I love it when they put their heads like that. It's just so funny, isn't it? It's almost like a cat when they when they put their, their necks all the way up when they're being tickled or something along those lines. Very hairy heads, look at that. Almost looks like a very ungroomed boy. I think this is what Tristan looks like when he wakes up with all that hair and all that beard. 